Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like a more lower dust stash. Hello, everyone. We've got a Cabernet wine competition coming up here. Um, I'm going to try and go over some stuff real quick. Uh, we'll start out by looking at old Dub's video. Shout out to Dubstep, as always. Dubstep's got a no uh, FT cab build showcase. Um, to be honest, whether using FTs or not, they're all going to kind of be the same in particular with this layout we've got here uh, the square we're gonna have is a mountain across from a river so that's a river that's a mountain here is a desert edge and that's for your silica your sand mines and your set to make silica and then just a forest edge you're gonna be on forest which means you're gonna start with a bunch of ponds that you can demo because you're gonna get all your passive water at least at the beginning from down here so let's go back and look at dubs here you can see he's got trees growing here, got a couple ponds there to keep getting his passive water. He's got all of his Cabernet grapes here, and then he's got his oak. Now you need oak for what? You need oak for oak barrels. So you're going to have to have a lumber mill making oak barrels, and you're also going to have to have lumber mills making lumber. Now why are they making lumber? They're making lumber for the mines. So I'm trying to see if he flips it the other way anywhere. Come on, Dub. You got to spin, Dub. I've been fussing dub about that. You gotta spin your build. All right. Anyway, um, that's a. There we go. Okay. So, shout out to dub. As you can see here, we got mines at the top. Okay. Iron mines are gonna be baking chromium and limestone. So I've got those two here on my build just to kind of show you. But basically, we've got our winery here. The winery is gonna be making Cabernet Sauvignon. It needs five grapes, one bottle of wine, and one oak barrel. So I'm going to put down a glass factory real quick and a lumber mill so you guys can see. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward build from a what-you-need standpoint. However, it's not straightforward because you've got to have wood to grow your grapes. So the balance that you're going to be fighting is to make um, enough wood so that you can feed your lumber mills but also have enough wood left over in your storage that's really going to be your balance there you're going to be constantly fighting having lumber and having wood the cabernet vines need lumber to be created but then they need wood to actually grow so if we come here on our town star viewer which i have a video on that by the way if you want to go check it out that was last week we have uh, video out about our auto refresh script and about uh, crypto dudes badass visualizer he made for us uh, you can see it needs two water and one wood so realistically with this passive water from the river here you're gonna have uh, you're gonna be able to put grapes everywhere in in this entire area if you wanted to uh, without very much water because they only need two water so coming back and looking at dubs you can see he's got Ponds up here, he's got ponds there. Water facilities as well. Notice that I've got uh, a water facility I'm waiting on right now, just to show you. But you're gonna have iron mines making chromium and you're gonna have iron mines making limestone, okay? So both of them need one lumber, but two water barrels and three energy. So what does that mean? That means you're gonna wanna have a bunch of power plants here. If we go back to this side of Dub's build, you can see he's got a power plant here, 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 and here. And this is to create the passive energy he needs on the mines so that you don't have to worry about... Uh, and he's got one here, excuse me. He's got another one here. So here, 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 here. Okay? If you want to go nuclear, you can. You're going to have plenty of cash, which is what we need to talk about. What is our cash cow for this version of the game? And our cash cow for this version of the game is going to be wool. So, sell wool. Notice this is the uh, starting layout. Um, I started putting sheep pens down here, and then I put meadows. I used the meadows to feed the sheep pens. And then once you start getting enough cash, then you can start working on expanding this out. You're going to have to delete a bunch of the trees that grow naturally, because remember, we're going to be in a forest biome. Um, take your time. Put your sheep pens down use meadows make sure you put a bunch of lumberjacks in so they can go fetch 
Uh, there's going to be a bunch of ponds that spawn when you when you launch. In my opinion, you could demo those. You don't need them, and that'll give you a little extra cash. You don't want to worry about wheat either. Just literally focus on wool because wool sells for a hundred thousand per. So if I go to sell wool right now, it's two hundred fifty thousand for me with the dragon, which means it'd be a hundred thousand for you. So if you've got forty gas and you sell wool each time, that's four million dollars. That is. Uh, plenty. Is that right? Is that is that accurate? Four million forty. Four four. Is that right? Yeah. Let's just call it four. Let's call it four million. Uh, no. Forty million. Is it forty million? I don't know. What's math? Anyway, crap load of money. Okay. So just focus on putting your uh, pins down here, and if you don't have a wheat stand, then just put meadows and just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I believe in you. Uh, it's up to you guys uh, from that point I'm gonna go ahead and link dubs video in the video and I'm gonna try and get this uploaded real quick I'll be live once the competition starts so got any questions as always you know where to find me down below is my discord we have the visualizer link down below the link in the discord to the uh, auto refresh script I have a video from that last week if you want to check it out but uh, appreciate dubstep Rob all this hard work if you got any questions you can find me online on discord if you need me I'll be here like him, Warlord. The stash. Take care. I love you. Bye bye. Ooh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons, Patreons from Patreon, and my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. If anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below. Patreon link's down below. And then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future. And I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.